a new DIY. Um, I have this word for the year, which is being present, right? So I've actually just had an amazing weekend with Eric. We've been to spa, we've been to restaurants, we've been watching movies, we've been doing all that stuff. And I really wanted to be present for it, um, which I was, and it was amazing. Um, he's now gaming in the background. If you can hear anything like slashing or killing, that's him. Um, and my mom has Johannes. Uh, they're coming in around an hour and a half. Um, but. Then I also figured I really want to do something this weekend that uh, is hobby related to me and obviously you're invited whenever there is a DIY uh, in the making. So today it's going to be a fairly quick one because uh, I just have this skirt that I want to replicate. So uh, let's get the video started and I'll fill you in on what's happening. So I have this skirt which is in like a wool like knitted fabric. It's from Sarah. I've actually had it for like what five years six years I've had it for a long long time it's one of those pieces that goes with everything and it's really comfortable to wear and um, yeah I just love it I had it in black and white too but um, yeah since I've had it for so long those two pieces obviously didn't make it the gray one is still here um, I also have some um, college shirt fabric like a cotton fabric and um, it doesn't really feel like the same uh, quality but um, it has the same uh, let's say skills <laughs> of this stretchy fabric so now I'm just remaking it I've already cut um, the skirt pieces and I've cut the uh, waist pieces so I'm gonna put these together and show you what I do um, in order to get the, the um, print uh, or sorry in order to get the um, uh, pattern I've just placed the skirt I've folded it over neatly so it's flat everywhere and uh, placed it on this fabric no pinning or anything I just cut it freehand um, so let's hope this works you'll see the top uh, piece here is uh, from uh, the waist one and here is actually the second one I've just flipped it over so I have the right sides together and now I'm gonna sew um, all along here to fit the curve and I'm gonna do the same one with uh, do the same thing with that one and once that is done I'm gonna do the side hems and then we're gonna hem top and hem bottom so like I said probably a pretty fast project but uh, every time I say that something goes wrong so uh, let's see Pinning on like a curve or what feels like two opposite curves is only always a bit uncomfortable. What I always do is that I start in the middle rather than going from corner to corner because it's really the middle that it's about um, that will show on the outside. If the seams on the inside are a bit unmatched that doesn't matter. Um, secondly, when pinning in a stretchy fabric, yeah. It's just always tough, we all know it, but um, what I really try to do is that I curve the fabric with me without pulling it. I think that makes sense. Um, it takes a bit of practice, so if it goes wrong on the first few tries, don't sweat it. I've done the same, <laughs> but um, yeah, if that makes sense, like don't pull it, just lay it together. Um, and then shape it a little bit. That's also the good thing about um, stretchy fabric, you can always pull in it a little bit so that it, it really fits um, rather than having a stiff fabric that you just have to pin very perfectly. But um, I'm done pinning uh, this one. So I've pinned um, these two sides together. Uh, it could also have been possible to do um, the two top pieces first together and do the skirt together and then sew it in a circle around the hip. But uh, I prefer this one because it's stretchy fabric. I want to keep my seams as uh, straight as possible, which means that it's easier to connect the front and back on the sides rather than sewing it um, in a circle. So I'm going to finish pinning this one and then uh, I'll get back to you once I am sewing the sides together.
have our uh, front and back piece, which is which, I don't know yet, because they're both the same, if you know what I mean. Um, this is what the outside looks like, um, so there'll be a very clean hem. Um, and on the inside, I'm not going to do further, because this is uh, jersey fabric, it doesn't really uh, fray. Um, but speaking of fraying, I still want to hem at least the, um, the waistband. I'm not sure about the... Uh, the bottom yet because I've had a pretty clean cut all the way so I might not do that one but I want to do um, the waist and I'm actually going to go ahead and hem this before uh, I put these two together a little bit similar as to when I was talking about pinning rounded um, rounded uh, hems you want to kind of avoid situations where you have to pull on stretchy fabric and if I hem these two now like that um, I'll have a pretty clean straightforward stitch as opposed to if I were to sew them together I would have to do um, similar if you do a, a, like a sleeve stitch um, or if you do any type of uh, round hemming really uh, you have to kind of pull a little bit to make the inside um, you know shrink and the outside stretch uh, in order to get that clean hem and I want to avoid that so I'm gonna hem uh, hem the top here real quick just a straight stitch down on both of them and after that we're gonna go ahead and um, put these two pieces together on the sides there and then uh, we're actually uh, nearing the end guys all right the hem is done um, so it's a very very neat tiny hem you can see even with a straight stitch you get some of these um what do you call it like crinkles because it's a stretchy fabric so really happy i did that before moving on i've pinned uh both of the sides here uh, and i'm just gonna do those real quick um and then i'll probably also go in and trim a little bit like you can see here i want the so up here perfectly matched edges down here there's a little bit extra fabric so i'm gonna go in and trim that once uh once i've done the sewing speaking of stitch i'm not doing a zigzag and i'm not doing a straight stitch either i showed it a little bit while back it looks like a lightning stitch where it goes like this the stitch so um it's much neater than um than a zigzag if you don't have an overlocker and obviously you need a stretchy stitch because you have a stretchy fabric so just wanted to get that in there Let's um let's do this one. Thanks for warming my seat. Huh? Thank you. Give me love, give Boop. me all your love. Oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. You hold my hand, look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need And I'll be alright Alright, that is the last of the trim um, I think it's time to go and try this thing on I'm gonna press it real quickly first and then uh, I'll show you Okay, here is the finished skirt. I really love it and it looks the same as the gray one. Um, I have the gray one right here. Um, so yeah, they look the same, don't they? I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one last thing and that's actually uh, hemming the bottom as well. Because this fabric is not as stiff as the gray one and either you could do you could fix that with like a with like a lining um or a fabric uh, thickener uh, or you can do a hem because the hem will kind of automatically do it out a little bit <laughs> the skirt but um in general i'm really really happy um i also put on a few extra inches at the top so it can actually go almost all the way up um, and you can wear more of a crop top without having to freeze your belly button off um, but yeah here it is guys all ready and done see you next time